Just thought I'd bring this very interesting article to your attention from Jim Stone at jimstonefreelance.com. It's titled Absolute Proof I Nailed the Organization Responsible for Controlling the Truth Movement. Because they are a clandestine scam organization, probably run by the Israeli government or some other scam center in the US, like Stratfor or somewhere like that. When you click the link today, after I said I was going back to knock on them, it just says nothing to see here. And if you actually click it now, it uh, won't load the page at all. It used to say nothing to see here, just up in the corner with a blank page. They don't own the Wayback Machine, so I was able to tear them out a new pair of undies. And if they want to scam their way out of pulling that little trick, I photographed the entire computer at this cyber cafe with that reality on the screen. Yesterday there were links to their companion servers which censor websites and hunt the web for topic related subjects to make them vanish as desired. I got those documented but forgot to bring that to this cyber cafe so I will post that tomorrow. And surprisingly on the uploaded page I saw yesterday they are blocking upwards of 500 million websites and email addresses under the guise of them being spoof emails and websites. So the list is growing quickly up by over 100 million in only a month and if we go to the Wayback Machine page here you'll see it's 350, 353 million now. Anyone should realize that my website is no spoof and therefore this organize, organization exists for one reason only to silence the real truth movement while hacks spike it to the ground like a touchdown football. And you can definitely see that happening at the moment. Many of you have noticed that the truth movement has been going downhill in the last little while and here is why. This organization has not been around long as evidenced by the December 6, 2012 page on the Wayback Machine which reads, see our historical results progress here, oldest IP 1185 days listed. Over the last 30 days V4BL DDS and SBL block list has been updated by one IP every 0.049 seconds. Over the past year, the list has grown by 309,563,835 IPs. At any given moment, there are more than 25 million new IPs queued awaiting basic compliancy checks. Basic compliancy checks? You mean if you do not comply with the Zionist agenda, you go in the trash. And that's exactly what's happening. There you have it. No wonder why I've been blown away and unable to communicate. I wonder how much has really been blocked. What should the truth movement really look like? No wonder why much of the great insightful stuff appears to be vanishing while being replaced with kooky bullshit. I've had several people offer me over $50,000 to keep this website running and not have me living poorly from different people, not spam, and they all just magically vanished. I wonder why. So when you're on YouTube, Facebook, places like that, and messages aren't getting through, your comments disappear, that sort of thing, this is where they're going filtering through V4BL and their associated servers and just getting thrown in the trash. I'm certain that the only reason why this site is visible is because I told everyone to mirror it and do that please including the news related articles. Don't just link to them, get them out of here. V4BL, a hostile.org has got to run on at least a 40,000 core supercomputer or cloud computer because it funnels the entire web through it. That's the entire web. 
a fact made reality by what it is, a total internet filter. And Jim, being a former NSA employee, knows a thing or two about computers, so he, he's got a good idea how this would all work. It gets all me emails, all communications, and they decide what lives and dies. This was outlined clearly on their website yesterday. And now it just says nothing to see here, or now it doesn't load at all. Because most likely they watched this website and knew this would be today's report, which I announced would be coming yesterday. Needless to say, the only front end they really need is nothing to see here because they are a hostile organization that until now, until they screwed with me, flew under the radar. And yeah, I certainly hadn't heard of them. But yeah, there's more here for you to look at. Some images and things. I'll leave a link under the video and um, come over and have a look at it. And while you're there, if you haven't been to Jim's site before, I suggest you have a look at his excellent nuclear sabotage at Fukushima information and also have a look at his report uh, titled Describe, Prescribed Deletion about the mental health industry and the terrible drugs and what they're doing to people.